Hi, my name is Jennifer Wilson. I'm a mathematics teacher in Flowood, Mississippi. I want to show you some of the TI Inspire technology activities that we have available on the TI website through Math Inspired that deal specifically with geometric transformations. We all know that the Common Core State Standards gives us a new insight into transformations and in particularly defining congruence and similarity through transformations. So one of the activities that we have is transformations translations. When I gave this activity to my students, I actually started with the pre-image and the image in different places on the screen because I wanted them to think about what had to happen so that they could show that this image triangle was congruent to the pre-image. When I sent this document to my students this year, I sent it in the state of one triangle already having been translated so that they could begin to think about congruence in terms of this translation. How can we show that this triangle A prime B prime C prime is congruent to triangle A B C? If we take this triangle and we move it up a certain number of units and we move it to the right a certain number of units, then the pre-image and the image are congruent to each other. As you move throughout the document, you deal with transformations in the coordinate plane. In particular, of course, here are translations in the coordinate plane. There are all sorts of good questions that you can ask. If I want this triangle to be five to the right and two down, then what ordered pair needs to be where? Different questions like that. Okay, that was a really bad question. So there are lots of questions that students can begin to think about here. Instead of just, if I have vertex A at negative 3, 2, and I move, I translate the triangle 4 to the left and 8 down, then where will A prime be? Again, we can get them to think um, um, backwards a little bit. So if I have vertex B prime at 1, negative 4, then what kind of translation do I need to do if I want B to be at 5, 4? How can I move one on top of the other? Okay, those are all bad questions. How about on this page, students can examine what happens to the XY coordinates of points of the image and the pre-image as they move the triangle into around in the coordinate plane. We have another activity on transformations that deals particularly with reflections. And again, getting students to think about that idea of two objects being congruent to each other when there is a reflection that would map, that would carry one onto the other. When I sent this document to my students, I sent it with the image already being reflected so that they could go through that action of thinking these two images are congruent to each other because one can reflect, one reflects onto the other about some line. As you move through this document, you also look at reflections in the XY coordinate plane. You can reflect the triangle over an axis. Students on um, the student handout can um, they fill out charts that help them see um, what is happening to the ordered pairs. They enter into the mathematical practice of looking for regularity and repeated reasoning. Ultimately, they get into the math practice of reasoning abstractly and quantitatively as well because ultimately we want them to generalize what happens to the ordered pair x, y when it is reflected about the x-axis. One of the other Common Core State Center's learning objectives that deals with reflections and rotations in particular is having students create images that would map onto themselves over some reflection or map onto itself through some rotation. So how could we arrange the vertices of the pre-image? How could we move those vertices so that if we were to reflect this triangle over the x-axis, the um, 
the triangle will map onto itself. It will land on top of itself. The image and the pre-image are the same there. So I think that's a nice addition um, to that activity. The third transformations activity that we have is transformations rotations. This is one of my favorites. Um, I still like students to think about using a, um, a compass and a straight edge to do rotations, but um, I also know how static that is and how um, much time it takes. I think this is one of the places where TI Inspire technology really helps my students um, get rotations in um, a way that they can understand it and in a, in a timely manner. So we um, this, think about what happens as we rotate the pre-image about the point, a certain number of degrees. This is another, we're thinking common core transformations and common core um, defining of congruence that I actually send the document so that the triangle and the pre-image and the image are um, separate when they start so that they can think about what they have to do to map one onto the other and begin to think about congruence that way. Um, I really like this page of the document because this is getting them to think about what happens in the XY coordinate plane as we take a point and rotate it about the origin a certain number of degrees. Um, another thing with for students entering into the practice of looking for regularity and repeated reasoning is that they begin to decide what happens with a positive angle rotation compared to a negative angle rotation. Again, something that I don't have to tell them that a negative um, angle measure is going to go clockwise and a positive angle measure is going to go counterclockwise. That those are things that they can um, explore and determine. The student activity with this has a great table for students to record information about what happens with their point as it goes through each one of these rotations um, about the origin. And um, again, ultimately entering into that practice of reasoning abstractly and quantitatively where they begin to generalize their results. Um, I had a lot of students who um, really enjoyed being able to organize this information and really think about what was happening with that. And I believe there's one other page here where we specifically do look at what is happening with the area and the perimeter of the pre-image and the image. And students can go back between counterclockwise and clockwise as they explore that. So these are three of our geometric transformation activities that are found on the Math Inspired website, part of our TI Inspire technology offerings that are available and ready for download for you to use with your students. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you.